a manger of warm straw, and a newborn son of God. The journey was long lasting, many days and nights. When arriving in the town of Bethlehem, they were both tired from travel and wanted nothing more than to find a place to rest. Yet, there was no room in the inn. Hello, do you have any room? Sorry, no. I have no more room in my inn, but you may stay in my stable. It is not much, it is dry and warm. On that very night, Mary gave birth to Jesus. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in the manger.
Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea. During the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem. These were people who knew how to read messages in the stars. And they had seen that special star rise. The star of the new king of the Jews, Jesus. They asked, Where is the one who had been born king of the Jews? We saw the star of the east. We come to worship him. We bring gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. <laughs> When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed, and all Jerusalem with him. When he had called together all the people's chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked them, Where is this Christ child to be <laughs> In Bethlehem, in Judea, they replied, For this is what the prophet has written. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you will come a ruler who will be the shepherd of my people, Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Then Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and find the Christ child. When you find him, bring him to me so I can worship him too. After they had heard the king, they went on their way, and the star they had seen in the east went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was.
When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold and of incense and of myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route. Many thousands of years have passed, and many millions of voices have shared the famous words but the story remains unchanged. It is as vibrant and alive as it was that night long ago in Bethlehem. It is still changing lives, just as it did when the shepherds first gathered around the simple manger. And now we too embrace the Christmas story. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. There was a world waiting to hear the story. We have a story to tell to the nations. A story of truth and mercy. A story of peace and light. Jesus said, as the Father has sent me, I am sending you. How shall they believe if they have not heard? And how shall they hear if the story isn't told? So this year, give Christmas away to others. Go and tell it on the mountain, over the hills, and everywhere. Go and tell that Jesus Christ is born. <coughs> Mommies and daddies always believe. Ooh. 